Across the country, there are thousands upon thousands of walk-in refrigerators and freezers. These may be found in uh, grocery stores, neighborhood uh, markets, uh, convenience stores, liquor stores, uh, and, and all restaurants, plus a host of other locations that uh, one wouldn't necessarily even think of. Every one of these walk-ins will have an evaporator uh, coil and in the evaporator coil will be at least one, if not numerous, uh, fan motors. These fan motors run at high speed 24 hours a day, consuming considerable amounts of energy and developing a, a more heat than most people realize. About 10 years ago, we realized that this was a, a waste of energy. We, we did some testing and found that most compressors run 40% of the time or less. Therefore, we reasoned that the fan motors will have to run as long as the compressors are running, let's say 40% of the time. But the other 60% of the time, the fan motors could be running at a lower speed using significantly less energy. We developed a product that we uh, come to call the Frigitech Evaporator Fan Controller. With that, we were able to reduce the energy consumption of the fan motors by 80% when the compressor was at rest. When the compressor uh, was operating, the fan motors had to run at high speed. But when they're at rest, not only did they reduce by 80% the energy consumption, they also reduced the heat output by 80%. This resulted in a, cons a considerable saving both at the motors and at the compressor. This was a great approach and saved a lot of customers a great deal of uh, money. But then uh, GE and their uh, engineers uh, came up with a very efficient two-speed uh, electronically commutated motor, often referred to as an EC motor. Energy control equipment was able to draw upon its years of experience and almost simultaneously with the advent of the EC motor, we had a controller available for their two-speed motor. With that controller, we followed the same principles that we had learned from developing the original Frigitech. Here we have a unit that demonstrates this efficiency and the savings that can be achieved through the use of the combination of the EC motor controller and the EC motor. The motor on the right is a standard shaded pole motor and as I turn it on you'll note that it will draw approximately 150 watts of power. In this particular case, it's drawing about 147 watts. And recognize that motor would be running 24 hours a day. Whereas with this EC motor, you'll see that it will draw about half as much energy at high speed. And at low speed, will draw only five to six watts. So right now, it's reading 75 watts. At low speed, as it settles down, it'll be under six watts. That's a tremendous amount of savings. To illustrate it another way, this motor running at high speed will generate about 388,000 BTUs of heat per month, 388,000 BTUs of heat per month, as opposed to this motor, when used with the Frigitech controller and assuming an original duty cycle on the compressor of 40% will draw only 80,000 BTUs per month, 388 versus 80,000. I know of no measure or combination of measures that would produce equal or even close to these savings that you'll get with 
This combination of Frigitech controller and the EC motor 